guys how's going on my name is Lewis and God bless every single one of you today is July 11 2024 and welcome to the real GS news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and we have a big breaking news red alert it says here a shocking map shows areas of US most likely to be impacted by nuclear as WW3 tensions rise. Guys, this information is very important. There is a list of uh, cities that could get hit. And we are so close of seeing WW3. All right. So you guys already know NATO, they here in DC. All right. So they just announced they're going to be sending F-16s. So, all right. That's... Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we have more breaking news updates. We're going to get to all this here, guys. We have more information about 1 million new people crossed the Sleeping Giant in 2024 alone. It's only been, what, six, seven months? In seven months, 1 million in seven months. That's a record. I mean, I never heard anything like this. 1 million in seven months? I thought he closed the doors. He announced it, what, two, three months ago? We're going to see what's going on in this one here. We have more breaking news updates. Give me a second. <clears throat> it says here you have the news report that the dams have been stunned by how rapidly things have unraveled for the 4-6 in the last 24 hours. We have more breaking news updates. Look out. The Washington Post reports there is a growing celebrity revolt against the 4-6 following George Clooney's op-ed. So it seems like a lot of people are turning their back on the 4-6. A lot of people. Even those that donate money, they are turning away. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for the 4-6. We have more breaking news updates. Look out. Another one. This is a damn senator. Urges the 4 urges the 4-6 to quit. To step down. Once again, you have the uh, the senator. Peter became the first damn senator senator to uh, call for the 4-6 to step down. We're gonna get to all this here. Here we go, another bird, another bird. All right, so this one here, uh, it says, yet another Boeing has lost a tire during takeoff. This make the second in just 36 hours. Hello, is there something going on? Is the sleeping giant under A-T-T-A-C-K? We have more breaking news updates. The bear leader says NATO is pushing for WW3 by, by arming and supporting UKR. And this is when we're going to talk about this one here. All right. Sleeping giant. You need to pay attention. We're going to get to all this here, guys. <coughs> so. Um, I have no idea what's going on in this one, but a lot of people's talking about it. There will be a there will be a big U.S. TV interview to start to disclose what's happening on Brazilian Amazon, probably in two weeks. I have no idea what's going on here, guys. But I'm gonna keep you updated on this story. So I just want to show you this here. Uh, don't know what's going on in Brazilian Amazon, but uh, we're gonna find out sooner or later. Look out! Here comes uh, not only nation against nation, but famines and pestilence is rising. Suspected human C-A-S-E. Oh, man, we don't want to see that. We don't want to see that. This is worse than 2020. Have you guys heard about this? Sto I mean, back in the 1800 or I think the 1700s. I'm not going to say the name because this platform is really notorious. This here. Mm-mm. No, we don't want to see that. We don't want to see that here in the Sleeping Giant. We have more breaking news updates. The island report surge in the Red Dragon warplanes during 
an ATO summit. I just posted a video not too long ago. Um, and this one here, this is the updates. They have more aircraft going out there. So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. We are witnessing so many events happening throughout the entire world. And uh, the big one is these biblical wars. What's going to happen? And what's the list of the sleeping giants? Give me a second here. I clicked on the wrong, wrong one here. Ah, here we go. So we're going to see what's going on with this story here, right? We're going to see there is a list of multiple cities. Frightening map shows areas of Sleeping Giant most likely to be targeted in nuclear. As WW3 tensions rise. Alright guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. <coughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. If you can, please share this video. Very important, please give this video a thumbs up. When you give the video a thumbs up, it actually sends a signal to YouTube. The more likes, the better it is, the more YouTube share my videos. So if you can, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate the love and support. The warning of nuclear looms over part of the sleeping giant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As, a, as the bear invasion of UKR and other global conflict persists, a map has been released. No! A map has been released showing the areas most likely to be targeted in nukes strike on the sleeping giant soil, highlighting potential targets in every sleeping giant state. Hmm. Basically, most of them is in the east, but also along the California coast, as shown in this frightening map, Montana and North Dakota are suggested. The reason why Montana is because that's where the silos are at. And uh, also, uh, Montana, you got Yellowstone out there. So the bear want to strike Yellowstone volcano? Montana and North Dakota are suggested as key targets due to their norm numerous nuclear weapons and launch sites, which the bear invasion of UKR and the Holy Land fears of WW3 escalated. Here we go, guys. Please share this video. It's very important. People need to know this, uh, this, this important news. Warnings have been issued to the bear that nuclear war is now inevitable, putting millions at, you know what? If nuclear biblical war breaks out in the bear or the red dragon, hundreds of millions will D.I.E. in minutes. Let's stop here. In minutes, not hours, not months, not years. In minutes, hundreds of millions will die in minutes. Isn't that frightening, right there? This is what your sleeping giant is asking for. Yes, your sleeping giant, that person in the spotlight, is pushing for that. Do you want that? It's all for the yellow and blue country. It's all for the yellow and blue, Louis. We got to do it for the yellow and blue. Yeah? Well, hundreds of millions with D.I.E. In minutes. Is that what you want? Well, I don't know if it's going to be like that. Map shows potentially historic heat waves. As, uh, so this is a whole different ball game here. Nuclear uh, war map shows safest sleeping giant state to buy a home in case of a nuclear war. Wow, uh, so this uh, this website has a lot of good stuff. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video of that one tomorrow. Actually, I think I might throw it in here with this video. Man, look at the map. Mm -mm -mm. 
You see all those purple dots and the black ones and all that? Yep, all that getting hit by the bear nuke. It says here, in the west, Colorado, Montana, North Dakota, and Wyoming have many targets marked in the map. So Yellowstone could get hit. Oh yeah, Yellowstone Volcano. Yellowstone Volcano too. They want to hit Yellowstone. Because Yellowstone Volcano, if they drop a nuke in Yellowstone, it will definitely finish off the Sleeping Giant. I mean, I can understand Montana, but why Wyoming? I don't think uh, there's a silo in Wyoming. Montana, yes. That uh, Again, uh, last year, you guys remember the Red Dragon white balloon that was flying over the Sleeping Giant? That flew over Montana because that's where the silos are located. You have the Miniman 3 and all that type of stuff in that region. But Wyoming? That's a whole different ball game. All right, so they want to... So they got, the bear have their, I mean, this city on their list, the states and all that. In the West Coast, Colorado, right? And, uh, and then you have Montana, North Dakota, and Wyoming have many targets marked on the map, including active nuclear power plants. There are approximately 90 of these across the Sleeping Giant located in states such as Alabama, Arizona, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee, according to the news, the Mirror U.S. Areas like rural Idaho, Maine, Northern California, and Oregon might be safer. Actually, <coughs> I think the safest one is Maine. Maine is going to be the safest one. And I have family members that live up there in Maine. It's, it's all land. But uh, one thing I, I've noticed about Maine, the Red Dragon is buying up a whole bunch of stuff up there. And they are basically taking over Maine. So they're buying land. And it's so cheap. You, I mean, you could buy 10 acres for like, what, $200,000 or so maybe $100,000. I mean, we're talking about 10 acres. That thing is massive. I mean, you come to, again, you go to California, buy uh, a two-bedroom, one bathroom, and what, 1,000 square foot for like $800,000. I mean, who in the world want to buy a house out there? But it says here, once again, uh, you have Maine, Northern California, and Oregon might be safer. The Sleeping Giant has strategic, st strategically placed its nuclear forces in sparsely populated areas to minimize damage in the event of a strike, reports the Irish Star. So the Sleeping Giant is becoming like H-A-M-A-S, putting these stuff in populated areas. Intercontinental ballistic... <coughs> <clears throat> you know what silos, military bases, and locations where nuclear equipments are stored are dispersed throughout the Sleeping Giants. Some of the key locations that could be at risk include operational nuclear power station with around 90 such facilities scattered across the U.S. and states like Alabama, Arizona, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee. Did I read that? I truly apologize, guys. So other potential targets might encompass missile silos, military installation, and nuclear weapon storage site. The map is question first appeared in CBS article for 2015, citing sources such as FEMA, Medicine and Global Survival, and the National Resources Defense Council for its information. This is a very powerful article here. Very good stuff. However, give me a second here, guys. It says here, however, FEMA has distanced itself from this map. Whoa. A spokesperson for FEMA stated, FEMA does not and has not released any type of formal map of potential nuclear target. However, FEMA provides information to the public to help them prepare for a potential hazardous or radiological event through ready.gov. Look at all this good stuff here. 
again, you see these green uh, uh, links? This is a very good website. Map shows which part of New York will soon be underwater as sea levels to rise by six feet in certain areas. Now, we did talk about that like six months ago. Chilling map shows parts of Sleeping Giant that will be under the sea by 2050. <sighs> yes. So, um, I'm going to do some more research in, um, on this uh, website. They got a lot of good stuff here. Major city like the Rotten Apple, Chicago, Houston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. are often considered prime, you know what, due to their economic significance, dense population, and concentration of gov infrastructures. The cities that could face, you know what, include Dallas, Fort Worth, Miami, and Philly. Now, the bear leader, Vladimir, has declared that the bear will not strike NATO members but issued a warning that UKR and the Sleeping Giants supplied fighter jets constitute legitimate targets. Let's stop here for a second, and I'll post a video. The Sleeping Giant announced today, F-16s will go to the yellow and blue country. The bear is warning, if you do that, if you do that, we will go to WW3. Now, why is the sleeping giant looking for trouble? Why? Well, Lewis, we got to help the yellow and blue country. We got to help them. We got to help them, Lewis. Yeah, we helped them. Ain't going to be that much people left here in the sleeping giant. I'll tell you that. The bear leader is also reportedly planning to have ISIS executed a point blank range. Again, the bear leader does not negotiate with them. All right, so however, regions such as Idaho, Maine, Northern California, and Oregon may not be as high on the target list. Once again, the Sleeping Giant has leveled accusation against the bear for allegedly breaching the last standing nuclear arms treaty between the two superpowers, claims which the bear has robustly denied, countering that it is the Sleeping Giant who has not been adhering to the agreement. Hmm. We almost done with this. Tensions escalated when the bear leader made veiled warning of deploying nuclear beyond the UKR borders in late 2022. Uh, 2022. He accused the sleeping giant and NATO nations of engaging in nuclear bla uh, blackmail and cautioned the sleeping giant in Europe about the bear arsenal stating to defend the bear and our people. We downlessly will use all equipment resources at our disposal and emphasize this is not a bluff. Adding to the international unease, last December the bear leader hinted at a possible shift in the bear nuclear deterrence policy, which traditionally has been one of one of no first use. Now, during a press briefing, he contrasted the bear stance with that of the sleeping giant, saying they have it in their strategy and the documents. It is spelled out a preventive blow. We don't, we on the thought, uh, give me a second here. We, on the other hand, have formulated a retaliatory strike in our strategy, as reported by the news, highlighting the deferring military doctrines. Of the two nations. Wow. This is a very good article here. Once again, it says here the sleeping giant could be hit in a nuclear biblical war as the bear invasion of UKR and other conflicts continue around the world. Now, the map shows the places most likely to be targeted in a NUKE strike on sleeping giant soil. Is that what you want, sleeping giant? Should we do it for the yellow and blue? Do you want to see a Jericho in real life? Do you want to see the sum of all fears in real life? The Red Dawn in real life? Is that what you want? Mm. Be careful what you ask for. I got my bunker, Lewis. My bunker is heaven. Look at all this. It's mostly west, I mean, the East Coast. 
But the big ones is, man, you got this one here. You got, uh, again, you got Wyoming, Idaho. You got all those regions. Hmm. You can say goodbye to the rotten apple. <laughs> man. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, that rotten apple is completely all purpled out. Man. Give me a second here, guys. A nuclear war map shows safest sleeping giant states to buy home in case of a nuclear war. The fear of nuclear has recently escalated with the bear leader threatening to use his NUKE arsenal. Give me a second here, guys. See, this is the type of stuff that I like to uh, search for um, when it comes to... You know which is the safest place in this and that let's see what's going on here let's see what's going on here real estate experts have outlined the safest places to live in a sleeping giant in the event of a nuclear war this map uh, which was created based on the experts advice show the rural areas which have good weather and access to farmland and water are the safest area to live in this hypothetical scenario. The fear of NUKE war has recently escalated with the bear leader threatening to use his powerful equipment after the bear 2022 invasion of UKR. This event rhetoric has prompted many people to look into potential safe havens to live in in the events of a nuclear winter brought upon by biblical war. What's the map? Here's the map. Here is the map. Okay. So, um, you have Nebraska. You have the Midwest. Good place to build a shelter. Then you have uh, Nebraska far enough from nuclear blast sites. You have the Rocky Mountains, uh, rugged, remote, and hard to find. California, uh, warm climate, lots of water. North Carolina, great weather and farmland. Florida, viewer areas. Well, I, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I got to get out of Florida <coughs> because uh, I live uh, in the West Coast, and that's that's a big no-no. Mississippi banks you have um, Mississippi you have uh, what is that uh, WI Wisconsin no it's not Wisconsin right you have Kentucky Tennessee Arkansas Mississippi Louisiana so you have multiple states in that region and the Mississippi banks I think it's Minnesota and uh, Wisconsin. But uh, yeah, these are the safest areas. Now you see the black dots. You see those black colors and the black dots. Those are the targets in a 2000 warhead scenario. Those are the big uh, uh, you want to stay away from. You want to stay far away from them. The triangle target is a 2000 warhead scenario. Oh man, that's not good. Because I live right in a triangle. I live right in a triangle. Are you serious? Hmm. I live in a triangle. With SpongeBob at. Um, give me a second here, guys. You have all these crazy advertisements here. I got to be careful why I show. I don't want to get in trouble. I live right there. Somewhere in this region. In this triangle. Beautiful! Wow! 
Mm. And then you have uh, this spot right here, Tallahassee. Man. I'm thinking about going up here then. That looks like a safe area, Midwest. Either way, you got the New Madrid, which is all this, and it would cause a huge shift. And not only that, you have Yellowstone right here. So when Yellowstone blows, all of this will be impacted. Either way, you can't run nowhere with SpongeBob. Well, I'm not going to use SpongeBob. Usually, I pull up SpongeBob. He helps me out. You know, there he goes. So this is a good area here. And, um, yeah, I live right here in this area right there. So this area here, this one right here, this one, this one, even North Carolina, and this part here in Florida, those are like the safe one. Thank you so much, SpongeBob. All right. I'm going to skip the rest, guys. I'm going to skip the rest of that. All right, so I don't want to stay too long in this uh, in this video because I am coughing a lot. And I'm still going through some, uh, I guess, bronchitis. But, uh, yeah. Let's see what's going on here now. Let's go with the uh, sudden 1 million has crossed in a sleeping giant board in 2024. It's only been seven, no, actually only six months, right? No, seven months. So, <clears throat> in seven months, actually six months, one million came into the Sleeping Giant. So, basically, two million is coming a year. All right, so it says here you have more than half of the 900,000 plus encounter at the Sleeping Giant region, the southern region, in 2024. All those land, you, man, you have Mexico, Guatemala, Venezuela, Cuba, Ecuador, and Colombia. Rising lawlessness, poverty, and also other stuff are driving this mass displacement. CBS, uh, CBP Custom Border faces mounting pressure as it navigates this ongoing event. This is why they endorse the 4 or 5. Man, man. That's where we at. Alright, so you have the first senator, Dem, to call for Mr. Burns to step down. In the Washington Post op-ed, this person praised the 4-6. They are all praising him. You're the greatest. Thank you so much for everything. Please step down. <laughs> so, unmatched, uh, unmatched selflessness and courage, but urge him to step aside. Once again, he said, we need him to put us first, as he has done before. What in the world are you guys watching? I mean, again, did he put the sleeping giant first? No. Even Mr. Beast, the YouTuber, came out and said, if I was a sleeping giant leader, sleeping giant will be my number one priority. So he knows that the 4-6 has not been putting the sleeping giant first. This unprecedented move by a sitting, them, Senator, adds significant weight to growing concerns within the party about the 4-6. Now, it follows similar calls from nine House Dems and, call, and comes amid ongoing debates about the leader age and electability. It's time to hang up the gloves. It's time to hang up the gloves. Let's see what's going on with the island. The Island Defense Ministry reported a surge in the Red Dragon warplanes, joining drills with the Shandong aircraft carrier coinciding with an NATO summit in D.C. There you go. You want to send uh, F-16? I'll send some planes too. The Red Dragon, which claims the island as its own territory, has increased military activity around the island. The, uh, the island detected 66 aircraft nearby with 39 heading south and southeast for drills. The island released photos of the Red Dragon warplanes stating it closely monitor 
monitors these activities. The Red Dragon Defense Ministry has not commented. The NATO summit draft communique citizens, uh, excuse me, criticizes the Red Dragon support for the bear and presents security challenges to Europe. All right. So that's where we are right now, guys. That is where we at right now. Hmm. Give me, uh, give me a second here. Want to see if there's any more updates? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the bear interfering in 2024 to help the 4 5. <laughs> uh, the sleeping giant intelligence officials say, Here we go again, guys. Um, the bear is going to help the 4 5. They need to stop. They need to stop. Stop, stop, please stop. <laughs> they need to stop. It's sad. It's really sad. It is, guys. It's really sad. The, uh, again, a bit. Look, the four or five does not need any help from um, the bear. The four or five is doing it because the sleeping giant people got his back. They need to stop all that nonsense. That the bear is gonna help him. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your prayer. Uh, I will keep it updated. If you guys wanna, you know, want more videos about the uh, the world map, like the underwater you know sleeping giant being underwater map nuclear map or you know all this heat wave map if you guys like these type of videos leave comments down below um again very very powerful website there it has a lot of good news so uh, i think i'm gonna start uh, making more videos about that give you know it gives us an idea uh which location is safe and how to prepare ourselves when it comes to these biblical wars events anyway guys thank you so much for watching once again uh, I'm going to skip my, my ending, but if you guys want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. My address is highlighted in yellow. And for those of you that want to support the channel, we do have the PayPal link and the Patreon link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. God bless you all. Till next time later. Peace.